Hey everybody, welcome back to everything you ever wanted to know about system.text.json, or as me and James call it, STJ. <laughs> welcome to STJ in the morning. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to talk about now is what happens, James, what happens if the JSON that you get has things in it that your class does not have? Ah, How can yes. we be alerted to that fact? Yeah, it's a good one. You know, often I think we think about the opposite scenario, which is like we have a bunch of thing in our class that we've defined all these properties, but it's not in the JSON, which is like, okay. Now we've talked about actually how yeah. you can require those members and make sure yeah. it's there. But often, yeah, the inverse is also true. Right. Yeah. So ideally, you probably wanted to throw an exception. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to, it's up to you how, how yep. strict you want it to be. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens today. So, what we have here is a very simple weather class that has date, temperature Celsius, and summary. And we're just reading from this file and we're deserializing it. Now, if we look at the file, we can see that it does have all of those, but it also has a wind. wind. Yes. Now, if I just run this today with my F5, boop, um, what we should expect is that it just works fine because yeah. often JSON files have a bunch of things in them and you're like, hey, I only care about these three things, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. So we can see here we have hot, 30, the date, everything's good. Yep. And, and that's what we would expect and, um, and we're totally, totally fine and good to go. However, there's a new feature of System Tech JSON that allows you to be a little bit more strict on this on your class itself. Okay. So previously, we were adding attributes on every single property to say required or maybe yeah. is required. We can actually just come into our class here and we can say JSON unmapped member handling. So these mm. are basically unmapped members, right? They're unmapped. We want to figure out how do we handle that. Well, we can say um, disallow or skip. So that's kind of it. Yeah. So, so <laughs> but skip is the default. Yeah. Or you could say disallow. And that's essentially saying, hey, ensure everything in this JSON file is mapped correctly here, uh -huh. which is very nice. Now, that's also very helpful if, for example, you kind of name a, some, a property wrong or something like that. That could be very oh, helpful yeah. in yeah. general. Like, oh, why, is it, why isn't wind coming through? Or why right. isn't summary coming through? Oh, because you added and type, typo it yeah. wrong, for example. So now when I run it with F5, this is going to go and spin it up just like we would expect to start deserializing that weather data However, this time, there we go. Boom. boom. Yep. Wind is not in the JSON um, that's coming back, so it can't be parsed. Right. right. So we want to fix that up. A five. Boom. And now we can say public int wind get set just like that. F five. Now we should see that the wind that's coming in here of ten um, is now mapped Everybody's fully. Everybody's happy. Yep. We're totally good to go. Awesome. Yep. Super powerful. And I love the point that you made. What happens if I had a typo yeah. in my property? That happens to me all the time. Happens all the time. It really yep. ensures that strictness uh, yep. when you're doing this type of I stuff. I like it. There you go. Easy peasy. Easy. Easy peasy. Now, there's tons of great features and optimizations that you can use with System Text JSON. We have tons of videos right here on the .NET YouTube channel. So check out all those. We'll put a link to the playlist below and a link to all the documentation so you can find all those optimizations. I was going to do it for this video. Give it a thumbs up over here on YouTube if you like it. Smash. Just gently tap, if you will. That <laughs> Don't break button. your monitor. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, and you <laughs> can also ring that notification bell, become part of the notification squad, so you get Ding. updated every single time we put out a video. That's going to do it for this video. So until next time, I'm James. I'm Matt. And thanks for watching.